Instagram scraper, uh, another scraping tool that you can use to scrape Instagram. Um, I previously showed this in a couple other videos, but I want to go through like the exact steps to install this and get this working. Uh, so let's get started. So first thing is you want to come to this GitHub repo. Um, I'll post it in the notes for the video. Uh, the next thing we need to do is install it. <clears throat> the easiest way to install it is using pip, so we're just going to grab this command. I'm going to come to my terminal, and I'm going to type, I'm going to paste this in. So pip Instagram or install Instagram scraper, hit return, and that's going to install everything. Uh, the next thing we want to do is um, take a look at how it actually works. So you'll see here that there is a usage uh, area, and it just says Instagram scraper, and then username, um, and then you can optionally pass in your username or your password. So for example, if it's a locked account, um, you will need to, or a private account, you will need to use your username and password. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that this doesn't work with um, with two-factor off, off apps. So like if your account is using two-factor, uh, you'll need to turn that off in order to run this. Um, so it's sort of up to you how you want that to work. Um, let's give it a shot real quick and we can just uh, see how it goes. So I'm just going to use this and then I'm going to... Uh, the other thing is it saves to whatever your folder is. So right now I'm in my root directory. Um, so I'm just going to make a directory that's called Instagram. And hit enter. And then I'm going to cd into that. And then let's get started. So Instagram scraper. Let me just scrape my own account. Interesting. What happened here? there was uh, a bug in Instagram, in the current version of Instagram Scraper. Um, so I'm going to show you how we can fix that bug and then how we can get back to what we're doing. Um, so first off, we're going to do pip uninstall Instagram Scraper. It's going to uninstall the package, say yes. Next thing we want to do is we actually want to say pip install Instagram-scraper equals equals 1.7.0. Uh, that just installs an older version of Instagram Scraper, which uh, avoids this bug, and I just checked to make sure it works. <clears throat> now we're all set. Cool. So let's go back and run this command. So Instagram Scraper, and then this is uh, my Instagram account. So now you'll see that instead of getting that weird error, we start getting all the media. So this is going to start running and grab a bunch of media. I'm going to see what happens here. It usually takes a little while for it to search, so it's starting to find images. So if we go over to Finder and we go to my root folder and then we go to, let's see, we want to go to Instagram. And then inside of here, you'll see that it's starting to grab all my images. Now, what you might also notice is it's also grabbing all the videos. So the videos are a problem, right? Uh, we really don't want all the videos. So let's stop this, and I'm going to delete this uh, folder. And we're going to go back to Instagram Scraper, and go. <clears throat> go back to Instagram Scraper and look through the usage a little bit more. So inside of here, you can also scrape a hashtag, uh, but what I want to look for right now is inside of the options, I want media types. So if I hit dash T and then I pre put an image, I will get all of, I will get just images back. So let's try that. Dash T image, I want to make sure it's singular and not plural. Okay, cool. To this folder again. Yep, we're starting to collect stuff. And if you look in here, um, I should have MP4s by now if, I, if it worked, but it looks like it uh, is ignoring those. So this seems to be working the way we expect. So let me hit Control C again and just quit. Let's go back to our options and look at a couple other things. Um, so we can also choose a destination. Um, I 
generally find it's easier for me to remember if I go to the right directory at first and then go from there. Um, you can look for a maximum number of images. So if you want just like, let's say you want just 500, you could set a maximum. Um, there are also, so let's try, actually let's scrape a hashtag. So let's go in uh, and look at hashtags. So let's try this. So let's do Instagram. And then we want the hashtag without the hash. So let's do uh, Gen Art Club, which is one of my favorite hashtags. And then we want to do dash dash tag, right? Okay, so let's try this. Doesn't look to be working just yet. Um, I will say one thing about to know about hashtags is they're generally uh, pretty messy. Um, you will generally find that people will be throwing lots of stuff in there, so I might recommend actually going to Instagram first and checking to see what's going on. Um, just go to Instagram.com and then take a look at some of the hashtags. So if I go to Instagram and then I go to um, hashtag Jen Art Club. Okay, interesting. Um, well. Anyway, <laughs> if this were not uh, reported, then there would be I would be able to see certain things. So let's try graphic arts. Oh, that's delightful. Um, looks like people are very upset about Instagram's hashtags. So, well, if you do this with an app, I think you'll see that there are different um, things available to you, and you may just want to check to see how likely it is that people are actually posting the content that you're looking for, um, and you'll probably have to do some cleanup there. Um, but let's double check and see what we have over here. So it looks like this is running now. Um, I have a lot of video. There's a lot of video in here. So again, if I want just static images, well, that might be why uh, someone is <laughs> that might be why someone is looking that uh, and flagging that. Um, but I do see lots of images in here that I think are interesting. So maybe I could work with this. Um, let's take a look at what else is in the options here. So if you want to do some location filtering, you can do stuff like that. Um, I believe you can also, if you want to, if you have a list of people that you want to um, scrape from, you could actually use uh, a text list, and then you pass in the dash f flag, and then you can scrape from multiple uh, usernames. Um, so uh, interested to see how people use Instagram Scraper. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments or on uh, Slack. Um, I'll see you next time.